Hello, this is Alex. Uh, thanks for clicking that button to view this video. Um, so I'm going to show you what to eat during a fast, or at least what I ate uh, during a fast. Uh, I'm not a medical professional. Anytime you um, go on a fast, you might want to seek that type of advisement. And if at any time during a fast you are feeling too bad to continue, you should stop. Um, I done a seven day fast, it's actually seven and a half days, uh, 180 hours. And I'm gonna now show you what I had to eat. So that is what I ate during a seven day or seven and a half day, which is equal to 180 hours. That was from January 1 uh, at 1 a.m. until January the 8th at uh, 1 p.m. That's what I ate. Absolutely nothing. Uh, that's that's what a fast is. You you eat nothing you go without food for a period of time uh, the actual amount of water and electrolytes that i took in uh, are not shown <clears throat> that's just a example of, of what i did have uh, now i'm not a again i'm not a medical professional if you need medical attention um, before doing a fast you know a couple of uh, great doctors you can find on YouTube, uh, Dr. Ken Berry or uh, Dr. Jason Fung. Uh, Jason Fung has a lot of uh, uh, books even on intermittent fasting. Um, <clears throat> now, the, the meal that I used to break my fast with was, uh, that was two eggs, uh, Um, four pieces of sausage. I had two pieces of bologna on my plate, cut in half, and uh, six pieces of bacon. Um, now the the bologna, I only ate one half of a slice. I started into that, and that just uh, wasn't good enough for me to waste carbs on, and. Uh, probably wasn't the best for a fast break anyway <clears throat> but um, uh, but yeah so that that bologna and the sausage that was left over from a men's breakfast on Saturday morning the day before uh, I broke my fast and I just added a couple eggs and some bacon with it um, now my weight at the beginning of that fast was 219.4 pounds. Um, at the end of the fast, uh, 10 minutes prior to uh, breaking it, I was at 200 even, uh, which is a loss of 19.4 pounds. Um, now, as I come off my fast, I do expect that um, <clears throat> I will gain a few pounds back on for the first two or three days. Uh, but then once I get food processing again and everything, um, it, it should uh, level out or maybe come down. I should not put that 20 pounds back on so long as uh, I go back to, to watching what I'm eating every day. Um, so other things that, you know, that, that I've, during this fast, uh, I, I've brought my belt in a notch. Um, some of the um, skin under my arms, which I mean, there's not really hardly anything there and wasn't much to begin with. Um, and then my thighs is really where a lot of my loose skin was at. And um, they, they have got a lot better. The, the tightness of my britches in my thighs um, is, is a little looser. Uh, so those are all good things, you know, out of the fast, uh, that, uh, fasting helps to, uh, take care of that skin. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do, starting back off, I said, you've seen the, um, what I used to break my fast with. I said, I have that. 
Uh, then <clears throat> next to that plate, I actually had a, a glass with a little bit of orange stuff in it. That was a, I had made a keto chow um, shake that I turned most of into an ice cream on Saturday night to use as an ice cream for uh, supper uh, on Sunday night. And um, basically I made a, larger cup than what that thing would hold so i'm using that as well right there to finish that off uh, but for the next week i'm going to be doing uh keto chow uh keto chow plus protein now my protein that i'm adding is going to be protein um within the meal itself it's going to be uh, one item meals um i'm adding a cup of coffee into my diet um probably uh, leverage that coffee with keto chow uh, for maybe a breakfast. Uh, then I'm going to, I may have shakes. I may have uh, ice creams. I'm going to have, uh, I may make biscuits um, and just eat the biscuits with a glass of water or something. I'm still not going to be doing any carbonation or extra sugar alcohols beyond um, what's in keto chow. Um, so if you if you like this video and you want to continue to um, see like my next video and how I do and progress on that, um, hopefully I'll have it out next week. And uh, just want to say you know thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back for more.